Quite a long time ago I've published this circuit on YouTube. It's um, a tube amplifier. Here it's listed not tested, but it was really tested. And perhaps there are some viewers that can remember this old video that I have removed because of copyright uh, music that I was playing at that time. Schematic from 2008. Pen over the circuit somewhat. And you can find this uh, description from this amplifier on the Lulu website. And it's free, free download. And there you find much more information. So perhaps it's interesting to show um, how I made it in those days. This is the picture from the power supply. One of the power supplies that I made for tubes, tube amplifier. This is the same picture. Here you see more in detail how that power supply was made with wall transformers. And I made that uh, in such a way that I had a separate power supply. Because otherwise these wall transformers uh, could introduce too much hum into the, uh, the tube amplifier. These wall transformers have a very bad and strong stray field. They are not suitable to be mounted in the tube amplifier on the same chassis. The same picture. Again the same picture. Here, is, here you see the, um, the voltage regulator for the 6.8 volts from that tube. It had to be completely free of hum so I used a hum suppressor. Here the same picture, here again the two units, the 6.2 volt unit here and the high voltage unit here. And here the two units in the box. That was more or less all to tell. And this box was outside the tube amplifier. So that no hum uh, sources could introduce electromagnetic hum into the very sensitive uh, tube circuit. And that's always a good idea. And here you see how the video in the very past was made from that one tube amplifier. Here is the tube that I used, a ECL. 81 or 82, don't know that exactly. It was made completely free on the breadboard, a piece of wood, but it worked very good. And as transformer to the <coughs> loudspeaker, I used uh, an old high voltage transformer from a television set, and that worked fine. So here, in the anode lead from the, the tube, the triode pento tube and this part to the loudspeaker had a very very good sound with much high and a good proper high here the circuit again etc So this was the basis of the film that I made approximately 10 years ago and published on YouTube.